Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another speed build on my channel. So today we're going to be building another family home. And this is actually a base game and seasons only build. So I only used base game and seasons for this build. Later on in the build I do end up using candles from the spa day game pack. But before I uploaded it to the gallery I did go back and change those out for some base game candles. So don't worry about that. But yeah, so we're building this base game and seasons f uh, fam only family home. And the exterior was really inspired by one of Zistel's builds. She does some really amazing craftsman builds on her channel. And I don't know, for some reason I built this while I was watching one of her streams. And I don't know, something about it just told me, I, I don't know, I wanted to go for a bit more, more of a craftsman style. And yeah, that just really reminded me of her. I don't really know why, but I know Craftsman is her favorite kind of bold style. So yeah, when this started going a bit more, not old-fashioned, but a bit more traditional, and with all of the woods and the stone and stuff, I don't know, it just really reminded me of her. But yeah, so I really, really love this build. I really enjoyed building this. I don't know, for some reason it was so much fun. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun with a build, just going in with no real plan for it and just building. And I had a lot of fun furnishing it as well, which when you have all of the packs, you tend to think that you won't have a lot of fun when you don't have access to all of them, when you don't use all of them. But for me, it's kind of the opposite. I tend to enjoy my restricted builds that I do occasionally kind of um, kind of more than I do my regular builds just because it allows me to it kind of like not experience but explore a lot of the pack items that I would normally miss or just look over or you know just forget about completely it allows me to explore those items so much better when I'm kind of just restricted to that pack and obviously the base game so, I don't know, I just found this really fun. I found, found it really fun just, you know, experimenting with all of the different seasons items and seeing what would work, what wouldn't work, and stuff like that. So, I hope you guys like this build. It is a four bedroom and three bathroom build, and it costs about 172,000 simoleons. So, it is rather expensive if you don't, if you play without cheats. But, I mean, for me, I've been able to achieve this amount of money in my Sims game. Especially if you have your Sims Paint and Garden. Also, writing, that's a really good way to make money. So, for me, it's still an achievable amount. But, yeah, it is quite expensive. But then again, it is a four-bedroom, three-bathroom family home. And I built this, obviously, in Willow Creek. And, funnily enough, I built this during autumn, but the autumn season had just started. So the trees are, you know, half green, half brown, or half yellow. And I don't know, I find that really cool. I find that it looks really cool when your seasons are tra transitioning over. And I love how, the way that they did that in the game. You know, you, I don't know, I didn't expect it to be, you know, kind of abrupt when the seasons changed. But I didn't expect it to be as smooth as it is, as smooth of a transition between the seasons. Which I'm really glad that they managed to do it this way because it adds so, adds so much to the game. It adds so much realism to the game. And yeah, I really love the way that it makes the game look when you're kind of just transitioning over. So for example, if you're transitioning from winter over to spring, it's amazing seeing the snow melting and you know the rivers starting to melt and stuff like that. It's gorgeous. But yeah, I did cut out doing the bathrooms and the floor plan and the interior wallpapers and flooring. I usually cut those things out anyway. But I actually kept in doing the exterior wallpapers because you know we've been having this, if you're a boulder at least you'll have noticed this, but we've been having this really awful lagging issue with the game. When whenever you go to place wallpapers, the game lags like crazy doesn't matter what kind of computer you have, if you have a really high-end machine, it doesn't matter, the game will lag. 
and that is something that was caused by the patch before seasons it was i think it was caused by the glass roofs by adding glass roofs into the game i think that's why and recently some guru nick over on twitter told us about a workaround since they did release a patch to that was supposed to fix it and for some people it did fix it it used to happen when you placed floor tiles as well and that that lag has been fixed but the wallpaper one i'm still having and i know a lot of other people are still having it too so the guru the gurus are still looking into it but some guru nick released a tweet that said they have a workaround for us that you know you can just use temporarily 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 <laughs> wow that's hard to say <laughs> not really it's just me but whatever that you can use temporarily temporarily okay i'm just that you can use until they have a permanent fix for it until they can release a permanent you know patch for the game that will fix it so the um, workaround that they that he gave us was if you place the wallpapers of the house before you have a roof on your house it won't lag and i did test this out i did the roofing off camera and i tried to place wallpapers and it was still lagging and then in the video i you'll have seen that i placed the wallpapers first before i did the roof and there was no lag at all i mean it was like it didn't even exist in my game which was amazing and really really great since this lot is rather, this house is rather big, so ha if I had to place it with the lag, it would have been a nightmare. So that's really nice to know for when I do bigger builds until they fix it that I can work around that problem. Because even just, I don't know, just thinking about doing a big build with the lag that we had would have been, I don't know, I, didn't even, I don't even want to think about that. I would have probably, you know, probably crashed my game for one. For secondly, I would have probably started pulling my hair out because I just can't deal with lag. Which is funny since I was playing The Sims 4 since it came out up until January of this year. I was playing it on my 6 year old laptop which yeah, it, tend, it usually lagged everything with everything. So I think I've just gotten used to playing without lag. So now that we have it again, I'm just like, uh, I want to die, I want to die, I want to kill you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's really nice that he finally that he actually gave us a workaround so that we can continue building and stuff without the lag until they fix it. But yeah, so this house has a little bit more about this house. It has a master bedroom with an ensuite and it, then it has a teenage girl's room and a child i think it's like a child maybe a child boy and then a toddler's bedroom but obviously you can change the colors in the rooms if you want it to be for different sims those are just the sims that i had in mind for the toddler bedroom i don't think i had a boy or a girl in mind it's very blue and green so it could really be for any gender it doesn't really matter and yeah the bathrooms are all basically exactly the same they're different sizes but they all have exactly the same items in them, you know, the plumbing, whatever. And I do include pictures of the main family bathroom that's upstairs and the master bathroom in the screenshots at the end. So you guys will be able to see them if you want to. But I had, as I said, I had a lot of fun with this house. I had a lot of fun just, you know, exploring and trying to find different uses for items or trying to use items that I wouldn't normally use. In this build because there are a few items that I don't normally use I tend to you know use something else rather than those because they might not be they might be items that I don't really like all that much for example that fireplace I really like the parenthood one I like the parenthood one a lot more than I like that one but obviously I couldn't use parenthood so yeah I like how that how that fireplace looks in this house anyway i think it fits the style really well and yeah i really i tried using this swatch of the new sofas that we got and i really like it i haven't used that swatch before i don't think in one of my builds so yeah i wanted to use a different one than one i've used before so i really like how that looked this house has a very 
you know, very blue theme running throughout or at least all in all of the family spaces. It has a very blue theme and a very warm theme with lots of warm woods and warmer tones throughout both on the outside and on the inside which I really like since it made me think of autumn but even though I didn't build this house to be an autumnal house I didn't build it with that idea in mind I just wanted to wanted it to be autumn for the screenshots basically to have some of the changing trees in the background which is yeah that's kind of the only reason I'm building this in autumn which I think is kind of stupid since I mean if you don't but I guess since it's my favorite season it makes sense but whatever you don't really care about that anyway but yeah so you guys will notice that I'm using different music in this video I don't know if you noticed it or if I'm just now pointing it out and now you're noticing it but yeah I finally took the plunge and um, got myself a subscription to Epidemic Sounds which I know a lot of people use Epidemic Sounds, I think, is the biggest, I think, non-copyright music website that you can use for YouTube that has thousands of non-copyrighted um, non um, songs on there that you can use and sound effects and all of that. So I actually took the plunge finally and got myself a subscription to their website. So yeah, I'm loving it so far. I've had a blast going through some of the songs and picking songs for this video and I actually made myself a new intro and you guys will have seen that at the beginning of the video and on the one that went up on Sunday. But yeah, so my new in my intro song is new and you know the songs that I'm going to be using throughout the videos and for the screenshots and everything that's all from there and I don't know I love it. I just love the I think it's a bit more, not prof I don't want to say professional because I'm definitely not a professional YouTuber yet by any means. I mean I still make really stupid editing mistakes and filming mistakes and I suck at recording let's plays and stuff like that. But I just think it makes my videos for me a bit more, I don't know, I don't know, I guess you could say professional but not really. But whatever, I just really like the way that it makes my videos sound, it makes my videos sound a bit more personal, for me anyway. And I'm as I'm recording voiceovers, I sit here and I listen to the music that I've picked out for the video as I watch the footage back. So I usually, when I edit, I go in, I edit, the, I record everything obviously, and then I go in, I edit all of the footage, and I choose music, add the music in, add screenshots, everything and then the last thing that I do is I record the voiceover and then I render it so while I'm you know recording the voiceover I'm actually sitting here listening to the music that I've picked for the video and I don't know I really like the songs on there and they have so much that I don't I don't think I could ever listen to, or at least even go through all of the songs that they have on there on there they have like something like 30,000 songs and I don't think I could ever go through all of that. But yeah, I hope you guys like the new music and stuff. I hope you guys like the new intro. You will have probably seen it on Sunday's video. On I uploaded a Lunar Zodiac part update on Sunday. My third update. And yes, I am fully aware that I did upload two of those in the same week. <laughs> and that's just because I'm absolutely obsessed with that challenge. I'm... I don't know, I can't stop playing it. I just, I can't play any of my other saves because I just want to play that. I mean, I haven't posted 100 baby challenge in like two months, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys still want to see that let's play. I think some of you do. Some of you guys have told me that you missed the 100 baby challenge, so I will be bringing that back, but I just don't know exactly when. But yeah, I'm trying to... I'm trying to find a way or a time that I can record some more of that challenge. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the what, Lunar Zodiac challenge. It's so much fun. I can't even tell you guys. If you haven't checked out the challenge yourself, you definitely should. It's a lot of fun. And for me, it's been really addicting <laughs> for some reason. Just probably because I get to play with 
different kinds of personalities, personalities that I wouldn't normally have given my sims, but the challenge requires me to give them those traits or stuff like that, and it also gives you goals for all of your children. For all 12 of your children, you have to have them accomplish different goals before they can move out, which is something that I really like. I mean, I like having things that kind of give me a clear set goal for whatever I'm playing, which I very, very rarely play story-based. I try and include stories when I'm playing challenges, whether it's for my channel or for myself, for just personal gameplay. I try and include stories as much as possible when I do play, but I like having kind of a direction to go in, even if it's just a loose direction. But I like having some sort of direction to go in when I play. But yeah, we're almost done with this house. I'm surprised it's gone past so quickly. But yeah, we're just doing working, starting on the landscaping, not really yet. Just doing some terrain paint and then we finish off the backyard and stuff and then we do the landscaping. But this house doesn't have a lot of landscaping since there wasn't a lot of space left on the lot after I built the house. And the la backyard isn't really big either. It's not too big. It has a swing set and a pool and a kiddie pool and some planters that I do go in off camera and have my sim plant. I think they plant all of the seasonal plants and then some of the some of the base game flowers I think but yeah I do that off camera and I don't think they're in the screenshots they might be but they're definitely up on the build that's they're definitely in the build that I uploaded to the gallery so this build is already up on the gallery under my hashtag under my username Chrissy York or under the hashtag Chrissy York it's up under both of those so you guys will be able to find it really easily and I don't know as I said it is base game and seasons only so even if you just have the seasons expansion you will be good you will be able to download this no problem and play with it if you want to but yeah I really like how this house turned out I keep saying that but I really do and I did cut out doing the front porch since I didn't add really anything interesting there I just add some plants another table with some chairs and two couches I think and that's it but they're, it's, they're in the screenshots so I don't really have to show you guys the footage of that since it took me like two minutes to do it but yeah we're almost done so I hope you guys enjoyed this build and I hope you've been enjoying all of the builds that I've been posting recently I know I've I've been for the past like month or so, month, two months, I've kind of had a schedule of posting four times a week. I used to post on Tuesdays, Thursdays and then Saturdays and Sundays. But, you know, since Seasons has released, I've just been so inspired to just create content. And I mean like builds, I've been building a lot. I've been, I've just been so inspired to create content with builds and let's plays. Well, not let's plays, but with my current, with the Lunar Zodiac Challenge updates and stuff like that. I just want to keep sharing content. And yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the, po the, the last, these last two weeks where I think I've posted like every day. Sometimes I've posted twice daily. So I hope you guys have been enjoying that. I've certainly been enjoying it. Even though it is a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of work. Anyone that ever tells you guys if you do have a channel that having a YouTube channel isn't work and it's easy should just, I don't know. <laughs> you sh it's definitely a lot of work and those people definitely don't know how much it does take to run a channel or to create content for a channel. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this build and I hope you guys are having a great day. If you did enjoy the build, feel free to give this video a like, a comment and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I do post at least four times a week, I shall say. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys!
They start shadows among the pines So offshore playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer kidnapped me Take me back all the way back Set the pace, daydream. 